A woman quarantined due to a dangerous virus lamented that she'd had no human contact for a dozen days. And she described how rejected she felt due to her isolation. Can you relate? But one of her relatives came up with an unusual solution. They arranged for a cell phone line to remain connected around the clock inside the woman's home so she'd know someone who loved her was with her on the phone, even without keeping a conversation going. That solution helped to satisfy her need for connection. The truth is we all crave belonging and acceptance. We're wired for it. But in his letter to the Thessalonians, Paul wrote to believers in Jesus without expecting to experience rejection and isolation because of their faith. He told them how they could handle a lack of acceptance by those who rejected them or Christ. He said, on the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people, but God who tests our hearts. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. Validation from others should never triumph over the truth we can share about Jesus. His life, death, and the good news that he offers new life to everyone. There are times when we'll feel alone even in a crowd of people, or when we lack meaningful connection with those among whom we find ourselves. In the absence of relationships that give us a sense of acceptance, Believers might experience feelings of rejection, as though we're in a spiritual quarantine. At such times, let's remember, as Paul advised early believers, to place faith in Christ above acceptance from others.